Good day, math learners. Welcome to session 13, where I'm going to show you examples of graphs of an ellipse. But before we begin, do not forget to click subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post new video lessons online. Let's begin. Now, let me show you how the graphs would look like if uh, the graph is horizontal and the center is at 0, 0, okay? Meaning the equation is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal to 1. So let's click this and let us select ellipse, okay? So the instruction is select two foci, then point on ellipse. So let's say the foci is here at negative 3, 0. This is one of our... Uh, foci and the other is at 3 0 okay so obviously the center here is at okay center is at 0 0 okay so that's how the graph would look like it's horizontal ellipse and let's identify one point so we can have this fixed let's say the point um, 0 3 this one Okay, so the equation of our ellipse is 144x squared plus 288y squared equal to 2592. As you can see, the equation is not expressed the way we used to. Uh, to compute this, to, to formally express this into the way we, we presented the equation of the ellipse in standard form, we just have to divide both sides of the equation by 2592. Okay, so we can have 1 at the right. Because the equation in standard form looks uh, looks like this. x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal to 1. So to make the right side of the equation 1, we just have to divide both sides of the equation by 2, 5, 9, 2. All right. So that's it. That's a horizontal ellipse. Let's have another example of a an ellipse. This time it's a vertical ellipse. Oh, so you won't be confused. Let's change this a into f f sub 1, so uh, the b also into f sub uh, 2, okay, so this is f2, all right, and so we have f2 there, and for this other one, uh, let's try to rewrite it to f sub 1. In this case here, we cannot have a subscript, so we just write F1. All right, so the ellipse is at F1 and F2, and we have point C here. Okay, um, let's have another graph with the center at 0, 0, but let's have it vertical, okay? And look at how the, the graph would look like. Uh, ellipse again. And let's identify two points. Let's say the foci is at 2 and at negative 2 with center at 0, 0. So let's have uh, this negative 4, 0 as a point in our ellipse. Okay. So let's name again this A here with uh, F2 to there okay and the b where is it the b let's rewrite this into f2 oh we cannot duplicate because we already have f1 and f2 well let's just leave it as it is okay so uh Point A and point B are the foci of our second ellipse, the vertical ellipse. So as you can see, the major axis would be this axis here. This is the major axis. Uh, let's draw the major axis. Okay, so this is our major axis, this one. While on the first, uh, let's color it with... Let's select another color for that. Let's have the blue one. Okay, so this is the major axis of the vertical ellipse. While um, the major axis of the 
horizontal ellipse is this, and let's color this red. Okay? Let's color it red. All right. So there we have it. Um, what else would you like to have? Okay, so uh, here the equation. Let's try to look at the equation of the second ellipse. The E. Okay. Uh, segment intersect. C at 434, ellipse, where's our second ellipse? Oh, okay. Here's our second ellipse. All right. Uh, we have 4x squared plus 3y squared equal to 48. So if you want to write this in standard form, we just have to divide both sides of the equation by 48. So as you can see, when 48 is divided by 3, what's the answer? The answer is 16. So the denominator of y squared would be 16. But when 48 is divided by 4, that's 12. So as you can see, the y squared has a greater denominator of 16 than the x squared with a denominator of 12. So that is why the ellipse is vertical. The major axis is the vert is vertical. Okay, it's along the y axis. Whereas on the horizontal ellipse, when 2592 is divided by 144, obviously 144 is less than 288. So you would have a greater denominator here below x than compared to the den denominator below y. When we divide this by 2592 to get a 1 at the right side of the equation and express the equation in standard. Form, expressing actually the equation in standard form. Now, this time, let's have examples of graphs of ellipse with a center at HK, not anymore at 0, 0. Okay, so let's try to have it here. Uh, let's choose ellipse and let's try to pick uh, two points as our foci. So this point here and maybe this point, okay? So let's have the ellipse here. All right, so this is how our ellipse would look like, okay? And let's say this is a point on the ellipse. The equation of the ellipse is um, 100.07. Again, this is not expressed in standard form, so you can actually express that in standard form by dividing both sides of the equation to that value at the right side of the given equation here. So let's just identify the major axis of our ellipse. So the major axis is here, this line. Where is it? Let's get that. Okay. So the major axis is this line here. Okay. And our center is somewhere here. Our center is at 4. I uh, no, C is at 4.50.18. Okay. So Point D, point E, and A, B, and C. Okay, so let's have an example of an ellipse which is vertical. Let's say the fossa is here, this, and maybe this. Okay, so how would it look like? This one is an example of a vertical ellipse. Okay, and our major axis is this segment joining our two foci and joining two points in our ellipse. Okay, that's it. Uh, you may also want to have an ellipse here. You want to see it? Uh, let's say this is a focus our ellipse and this one is another focus on our ellipse and okay so the major axis here is at this point let's draw the major axis and let's color it with a different color let's say yellow Co uh, orange okay so we have three sample ellipses here 
Uh, this one is a horizontal ellipse. This is a vertical ellipse and another vertical ellipse here. All right. So that's it. That's how ellipses look like. And again, the equation of uh, in standard form of the vertical ellipses would have a denominator of the y bearing the a squared. Okay. And a is always greater than b. So whichever the greater denominator is, if it's below y, the graph would be vertical. If it's below x, the graph would be horizontal. That's it, math learners. I hope you have learned something today as we explored more and showed more examples of graphs of ellipses. Stay safe always. Bye!